Hello and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics Z11 Pro 2 100 Watt Automatic Antenna Tuner. In part one of this video series, we looked at basic operation of the Z11 Pro Tuner. In this part, we'll show you how to install the optional radio interface cables for ICOM and Yaesu radios. The ICOM interface cable has a four pin connector on the radio end of the cable and it splits out into a DC power connector and a control connector on the tuner end of the cable. When using the ICOM interface cable, the Z11 Pro is powered directly from the ICOM radio. To install the ICOM interface cable, first install the Z11 Pro 2 as shown in part one of this video series. Be sure the radio is turned off before installing the cable. Notice that here, unlike in the Part 1 installation, we don't plug in an external DC plug because the tuner is powered by the radio. Plug the 4-pin connector into the tuner jack on the back of the radio. On the other end of the cable, locate the 1 8 inch stereo plug. Plug this plug into the jack marked Radio on the rear of the tuner. Now plug the DC power connector on that cable into the jack marked power. Turn on the radio. This also supplies DC power to the Z11 Pro 2. With the ICOM interface cable installed, two options are now available for tuning. The first is to press and hold the tuner call button on the radio for one second to begin tuning radio automatically transmits a carrier for as long as is required to complete the tuning cycle. Note the LEDs cycle inward to indicate a successful tune. Alternately, press the tune button on the Z11 Pro 2 for one second to initiate a memory tuning sequence. The control cable tells the radio to transmit a tuning carrier for the duration of the tuning cycle. To bypass the tuner, Press the tuner call button momentarily. The Yesu interface cable is a short 1 8 inch stereo cable with a red connector on the radio end and a black connector on the tuner end. This cable works with FT857 and 897 radios. To install the cable, first install the Z11 Pro 2 as per the instructions in part 1 of this video series. Now, turn off the radio. Plug the black tuner end of the cable into the jack marked radio on the rear of the Z11 Pro 2. Plug the red radio end of the cable into the ACC jack on the rear of the radio. Now turn on your Yesu radio. To tune using the Yesu interface cable, press the tune button on the Z11 Pro 2 for one second to initiate a memory tuning sequence. The control cable tells the radio to transmit a carrier for the duration of the tuning cycle. The LEDs cycle inward at the end to indicate a successful tune. This concludes part two of the Z11 Pro 2 instructional video series. Be sure to read your printed manual to get the most from your Z11 Pro 2.